Hi guys, welcome back to the Bright Kitchen. Today we're doing one of my all-time favorites, a reverse sear tomahawk steak. I love this cut of meat because it looks so cool. And I love brying my meat with the bone. It gives me so much more flavor than off the bone. I have to agree, Tommy. Brying meat on the bone is the way to go. I love it. So guys, today we're using the Kamado to smoke these tomahawks in the reverse sear method. So guys, a little bit more information on the, the cut of meat we are brying today. It's called a tomahawk because of the way it looks like a Indian axe. Um, it is also, also known as a prime rib um, or ribeye when it's removed from the bone. Lovely cut of meat, excellent for doing a reverse sear. Great, Adrian. So let's start making our fire and show and explain how we, we're gonna do this today. Yeah, certainly. So guys, um, the guys from Barbecue Masters gave us a bag of charcoal to test. So we're gonna give uh, their, their charcoal a go today. Okay, let's tear the ripcord. Let's, let's tear the ripcord. Make a small fire to start off with. We don't want anything too massive, otherwise we'll end up with uh, too much heat. Um, this will be a lot easier to control. We're making the fire towards the back of the Komodo because when the air flows through the vent at the front here, it moves to the back. And so this is generally the hotter part of, of, your, of your, your, your coal bed. Okay, so we're using a natural based fire lighter. We don't want any nasty fumes uh, to soak into our ceramics. Guys, we're going to put the deflector plates in while the fire is still going, uh, starting, should I say, so that they can start to heat up as well. We want our ceramics to be completely uh, heat soaked before we start the smoking process. Otherwise, we're going to have temperature fluctuations when we put the meat in, and we don't want that. And it's going to, then it's going to make it so much difficult to get your temperature correct. in to warm up a bit, remove the last, any last bits of moisture that are lurking, and I think it's pretty dry. Yeah, so today I've chosen mesquite, it uh, has a strong earthy flavour and is ideal for red meat. Um, it's also the hottest burning wood, so guys if you're using it, be careful, don't add too much, otherwise you're going to increase your temperature. Um, in today's uh, recipe we are only actually using the one block. So Adrian, while we're waiting for the fire, what dry rub are you going to use on the tomahawks today? Okay, so we're using the Bry Kitchen Special Smoking Rub, which is a slightly sweet and spicy blend of herbs and spices. It really tastes delicious. We dry brine these steaks in salt for about four hours while we allow them to come up to room temperature beforehand. Now we're just gonna sprinkle on some of our lovely smoking rub. If you want some of this, let us know. It's sweetened with molasses. It's got a lovely blend of aromatic herbs and spices. Great, Adrian. I see the Komodo is now at 120 degrees Celsius. That's where we want to do our reverse here on. So, Adrian, can you please show us what we're going to do next? Okay, first I just want to mention that the ceramics are now heat soaked. You can feel they're nice and warm. So let's um, start with the process. First we're just going to spread out the coals. Even though they're out a bit. As you can see we've got a nice coal bed that's formed. And we're going to pop our smoking chunk on top. Just like so. Okay, 
Let's get this into the meat. Thanks, Tommy. Not a problem. I'm going to get it into the thickest part of the meat, so, like so, away from the bone. Like that. I think we can get these guys into the grill. I agree, Adrian. Let's get them onto the grill. So, guys, if you like what you see, let YouTube know and give us a thumbs up, please. Adrian, let's put the steaks on. Okay. So, Adrian, we will give them a turnaround about every 15 minutes to have a look how they're going. We've been in for 15 minutes, we're going to give these guys a turn. Look at that. They look brilliant, Adrian. So guys, we've been in for about 45 minutes and reached our target temperature of 57 degrees. It's time for the steaks to have their resting period. And we are gonna go inferno. We're gonna open the vents, add more charcoal and bring this uh, Komodo up to about 330 degrees. And then we're gonna sear them to heaven. Adrian, let's get them in the foil. Let's open the vents up all the way. Time to blaze. So guys, see you back as soon as we're in inferno mode. Adrian, here. Okay, so guys, we've got a pomodoro up to 350 degrees Celsius of heat. We're gonna take the tomahawks, which is currently resting out of the foil, and sear them on the pomodoro at, at um, a half a minute a side and then they're ready to serve. Let's take these guys off. Let's take these guys off, Adrian. They look perfect. Oh, this is gorgeous. Can you see the smoke ring there? You can see it there. Adrian, this is absolutely deliciously juicy. Mm. I really love how the mesquite has brought that earthy, smoky flavor to the to the steak, and the and the the, the smoking rub has really complemented the the beef as well, the beefiness. And I agree with you, Adrian. And <clears throat> this method of frying maybe takes a little bit longer, but guys, it means one thing. More beers. More beers. Cheers. Cheers.